Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Bycraft plugin. Yeah! Keep in mind that Tbex and Bycraft are the same thing. Alright, so first we'll install the plugin. There will be a link in the description that will bring you here. All you have to do is click download. Now, you, once you have done that, go to your server, click file manager, click on plugins, and then take the plugin that you have downloaded and drag it into your plugins folder. Remember to reboot your server. Once you have done that, do slash pl to see if you have installed the plugin correctly. If the plugin shows up green, then you are good. Now let's to take a look to see how we can set it up onto your Minecraft server. There will be another link in the description that will bring you here. All you have to do is click sign up and then make an account. Once you have done that, make sure you go down here and click on your accounts and then click on web stores. This is where you can create a web store. So click on create web store. Then click on the game that you're using. I'm using Minecraft Java Edition. So I want it to be called Zippo Tutorials. I want it to use the US dollar. And what will it say on the homepage? Well, welcome to Zippo Tutorials. I have read and accept the US standard Thing majig totally now once you have accepted it and uh, clicked continue or next it will uh, bring up information on uh, installing the plugin again and it will also give you a command that you're supposed to paste in the console now you're not supposed to show anyone this command that's why you're not seeing it and now time to paste in the console which i will do right now go to your server go to console and now paste in the command now after that click on continue and it will bring you here you can upload a logo create a package add a team member all these things so what we what we're going to do is we're going to create a package then we'll select our web store's currency and then view our web store so first let's create a package so in the corner there is a button that says add new click on that and you can make a category or a package we're going to make a package and this is going to be a broadcast command broadcast command hello it br Podcast. Hello. Select the category. So if you have a category, you can pick one. Now the price is going to be free, so zero dollars. You can select it where the customer can charge for it once, charge a recurring subscription, like pay a couple of dollars every month, or allow one-off charge and recurring subscription. Now you can also remove it after a certain time. Where all right, you can pay for this, and you can have it for seven days and remove in seven days you would put here now for it to broadcast the hello thing we're gonna have to click on game server commands now game servers zeppo tutorials make sure you have pasted the command in the console or it won't know like what is zeppo tutorials and the command so add command now how i would normally do this in game is slash broadcast hello but it's not going to work because I have a slash in front of it. You're not supposed to put any slashes in front of the commands here. Do not do that. Settings. Execute on all game servers selected in the package, which it would be right here. Only execute the command when the player is online. Yes. Require inventory slots. And don't need any delay before executing. Repeat. Do not repeat this command. Don't do not do that. And create. All right. Now we're going to continue to set up. Now select your web store's currency. We'll look at this. Now I want it to be the US dollar. So I'm going to keep it like that. You can change it to however you want if you're from somewhere else. And now time to view our web store. So complete this. So we'll open another tab. And welcome to Zeppo Tutorials at the front. And the packages is the things that players can buy. And the about tab, you can also change this. Let's just take a quick look at this. So I'm going to X out this tab. If you go to web store on the side here and click on pages, it will actually bring you the to the about page. So you can edit this and literally type anything you want here or you can change the title too you can also add pages from right here create custom page now we're done with the store thing now i'm going to do refresh and now do when players do slash buy we'll bring up this click on packages and broadcast command hello so we're going to click on that we'll bring them this link they can click on the link and we'll, then we'll bring them here broadcast command hello price zero quantity 
blah 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 if you have any coupons or gift cards they will place them here proceed to checkout they will have to put in their first name last name email address country and zip code they do not put their in their credit card information because it, it's free after clicking continue blah 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 just select okay on all these now the reason why they uh, like oh privacy we're keeping some of your information like that's how you're going to get the information like hey this player paid for this on your web store so let's say if a payment doesn't go through you kind of want the person to have your information so like hey i paid for this oh i see you did pay for that all right since it didn't work i'll just help you out and give you the items or rank or whatever you gave them that's the kind of information that they're pretty much keeping now complete order thank you for your payment you will automatically receive the purchase product within five to ten minutes if you have any questions please contact Zepto tutorials and provide the reference that reference now usually like it said it will take five to ten minutes because every so often 10 minutes or so it will refresh the server will check like hey did anyone pay for anything oh yep yeah. all right send this command now if you do slash t bex force check it will actually automatically check to see hey did anyone pay for anything which i don't need to do that like in case of taking too long you can send this command through but look broadcast hello and that's what the command did you can also add complicated commands like commands that will actually set players to certain ranks so but that depends on the plugin you have so if you have plugins it, it, you can make it run a command by itself basically what it's doing all right and that is by craft that that's the end of the video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like down below and comment on what plugin i should do next and i'll see you later Bye.